going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host Dan and on today's episode we're going to be installing part number LGT-B11 which is our OE Fit brake pad for the EasyGo RXB. Now before we get started let's take a look at everything that comes in the kit and the tools we're going to need for my installation. So this kit's pretty simple. All you have is the OE Fit brake pad with the connector to go to the harness that is already installed on our cart. This is just going to slip right over the brake pedal that is already on the cart. And now that we've taken a look at everything that comes in the kit, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need to perform the installation. So for this install, we only need a few simple tools. We have our socket wrench with an extension, as well as a T45 Torx bit. We have a 13 millimeter open end wrench, and we also have a panel remover tool. Now that we've taken a look at all the tools we're going to need, we're going to go over a few safety precautions before we get started. So first, we're going to go ahead and turn our cart off. Then we're going to set the parking brake, and because we're going to be working with the electrical system on the cart, we're going to go ahead and completely disconnect the battery from the cart. Also, because we're working with the pedal group, we are going to chalk both the front and the back of the rear wheels. So the first step in our install process is to gain access to the pedal group compartment. And in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and remove our rocker panels and our trim panels on the driver side of the cart. Now, typically we would go ahead and remove those all the way just to get them out of the way. But for us, since we have fender flares installed on the cart, we're just going to go ahead and loosen all of the hardware up and we'll still be able to remove the mat that way. And now with the hardware removed from our trim panels on the side, we can go ahead and remove the plastic rivets that hold the floor mat in place. Once those rivets are out, we can go ahead and fold back our floor mat, gaining access to the pedal compartment. So now that we've peeled back our floor mat, we're going to go ahead and remove the plastic rivets that hold the compartment cover in place. There should be four of them around the outside of the compartment. So now with our access panel removed, we're going to go ahead and remove the old brake pad and install our new one. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and connect it to the harness that's already been installed on the cart. So now that we've made our electrical connections, we can go ahead and reinstall everything that we've taken off of the cart so far. I also went ahead and took the step to secure the wire out of the way of any moving parts just to keep it from getting damaged. So after we put all of our access panels and our trim panels back in place, we can go ahead and reconnect our battery. So now that our mat and all of our trim pieces are reinstalled and we've gone ahead and connected our battery, that's going to do it for the install on LGT-B11 on our EasyGo RXV. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.